Morning folks, 6.30, leaving Pandron on the way to Santiago. I'm just going to pick up Annabelle. Folks, one tip for the older dudes. Whenever you're walking with a one girl, young girl, <laughs> she's gonna kill you. Don't do it. Now, 10k left. And let Annabelle go. I already noticed that she got more and more quiet. And she said, she has to do the last K on her own. And yeah, perfectly okay. You know, deny it or not, Santiago, especially on the first Camino, does something emotionally to you. And if you feel you have to do it on your own, do you think, thing, it's your Camino. Later we meet for dinner. Although honestly, I'm happy that Annabelle left me. We are running so fast, almost 6k in average. And it seemed to me like she has an appointment with Jacob or James. I don't know, it was crazy. Now, a little more relaxed. I have time. I don't want to line up for a Compostela. And the next break with the beer will be mine. I don't know if you noticed, but I lost my base cap again. It was, I think, Caldas Teres at breakfast. I left it at the cafe. It's kind of a tradition on every Camino at a certain day, I lose my, my base cap. It's ridiculous. No comment.
finally made it. 30k. Kind of exhausted, I'm honest. Duh. Now, I gotta confess. I kind of like the Camino Portugues. It was... Yeah, I always say Camino is life in a nutshell. You know, the good, the bad, the ugly. And Camino Frances is not much different. Camino Portugues is more... It's, it's a shorter distance, but... Yeah, first day was very nasty. Second day was okay, and then day by day it got better and better. And from Tui, Oporino to Spain and Galicia was the perfect Camino. So, I don't know, can I recommend the Camino Portugues after all? Yes, I can. Is it, let's say, not a big challenge? Is it a beginner's Camino? No, I wouldn't agree. It was partly very exhausting. Anyway, now, tomorrow, I start my day to Fistera. And, yeah, so far, stay safe, stay healthy, and stay tuned. Buon Camino.